Cool. Hello. Wow. Um, so, Mary, what's your email address? Luli, what's the Italian name? L U G. That's my accountant. Uh, sorry? L U G L I. Mary, M-A-R-I-E, Gmail. Cool, okay, awesome. Um, stuff. Ooh, let's use my, um, this is the issue. Do you want, yeah, you want to follow on too? Yeah. Is this it like this one? Yes. Cool. Well, we're not building a portfolio website. No, we have website. So, uh, Right, right. <laughs> um, and I'm going to pop this one in here. So, Marie, what this is, is um, we're going to be building this website. Yeah. Um, so the islands, you know, uh, there's a bit of a spatial uh, stuff to it. So they, uh, they move. Then you scroll down and there's a little little house with a with a smoke <laughs> a chimney um this is great i thought you were just using this work web flow demo oh i will but this is this is what we're actually going to be building yeah this yeah. is fantastic great um yeah so what i sent you there was uh the the actual islands and the the house itself and the all the different image files we we're going to be using nice um to to help us build this little piece of so we're fun. building together, are we? Absolutely, yeah. So first, I will give you the general intro to yeah. Webflow. Uh, so, what Webflow is is uh, what we call these days a no-code uh, website builder. So what it means is that you don't need to know how to code to be able to build beautiful websites. Um, a uh, bit about me, I am a web developer. Uh, I have a computer science degree from mine uh, and I run good coding. But outside of that, uh, what has helped me pay rent for the last eight years uh, and now a mortgage is uh, building websites. So I've built many, many different websites for many, many different uh, people all around the province and actually across Canada now. Um, built for small startups like Metrics Flow to Grand Falls Windsor, uh, some of their stuff um, uh, for, for some conferences and stuff like that. Um, so I've built a lot of, lot of websites and every single one for the last eight years I've built on Webflow because it's a tool that has infinite possibilities when it comes to design and how it looks. Um, and it's very, very straightforward. You know, with WordPress, which you might have touched before, um, you know, a lot of a lot of companies have stuff like that. It's just so overwhelming. It's breakable. So it's so easily breakable. In my opinion, Webflow is just so much superior. So, um, like, I can show you some websites that I've built in the past, like uh, Gateway to Aquaculture.com. I hope it's still live. So this is the thing I built for Grand Falls Windsor. Um, this was for their, um, uh, yeah, their, their branding is on point. Um, this was for some sort of conference they were going to. And so they just wanted a nice little, nice piece, memorable thing. So kind of zooms in and changes into what it is, information, like open for business and stuff like that. So really simple, straightforward website, obviously built on Webflow. Oops. Um, of course, I built our website as well. Um, so you can go from, you know, nice interactive websites to more professional looking uh, stuff. Um, you know, talking about real business or uh, metricsflow.com. Um, this is another website that I've built. Um, so it really has infinite potential as to what, what you can build with it. Um, let me show you one. I, you know, 
you might like this one. Uh, West Coast Woodworks. Co. I think this co. Um, this is probably one of my favorite ones that I have built. Um, just a very minimalist. light minimalist um, okay. website. Uh, and Mark, the, the guy that uh, runs this, um, wanted a very custom form. And again, this was possible in Webflow because there's, um, you know, no, no um, limitations. Um, and that's Mark there. And that's their shop dog. <laughs> so anyways, this is the pitch for Webflow. There is no limitations. Um, for people who might not have you know, experience how to build real big websites and design things from scratch, you can actually get templates. Um, so our Git coding website is actually using the template, the metrics for one used of template. Uh, so you can choose one of these gorgeous templates and can completely change how it looks. You can completely, uh, you know, change all the colors. But the great thing is, that they were all designed by some of the best designers in the world. So the, the base that you're starting from is an incredible website with all the interactions and stuff like that. I know, Rachel, you said you wanted a website. Uh, so you can actually look for uh, uh, like designer portfolio. Uh, there's a photographer one um, as well. Um, and all these are, you know, which one do you want to check out? That one is fun. This one? That one. Yeah, so $49, but then you own it. Then you can do whatever you want with it, right? And so this is what uh, your website will ultimately look like. So there is real funky oh, stuff. Oh. Yeah, so the free ones are less interactive. Yeah, 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 yeah absolutely. Yeah. Um, Still, I like this. If, if I drop like 50 bucks once and then I just have this. Yeah. That's kind of nice to me. Look at that. Like these are really. When you think about how it's actually paid to do it. Yeah. It's, gosh, oh, this is easily a $20,000 oh, website. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. the, the bigger website, I've, I've built websites for $10,000. Yeah. If I'm building something from scratch, mm -hmm. uh, if I'm designing and building, it's really, really expensive because it takes a really long time. Well, that's without and and Yeah. Um, so do you normally start with a template or do you, I guess it depends on your client. So uh, what I do now is that I do start with a template because what I've realized is that my responsibility as the web designer developer um, is to create an amazing website. Uh, and that typically is the content that goes on it, right? So yeah. what I so what I typically do now is that I work with a client to find a good template that fits their sort of look and feel, and then I help them fill it. Uh, because on the end of the day, the website looks much better than if I was to design it from scratch. It's like a fraction of the cost. Yeah. Um, and so, it's been tested on all platforms. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So the result, yeah. the client comes to me and say, hey, I want a beautiful website. Uh, they're coming to me because they don't have money to go to you know, Target. Uh, they don't want to drop $100,000 on a website. They want a great website that works for what they do. So I help them make it work for what they do. And because I now know how to use Webflow really, really quickly, I can get a website done in a week. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're super happy because it was fairly inexpensive. It works for what they want. And so if they want them to have a brand that doesn't fit with their website, then you know, go out and, and hire a big agency. But what I typically, yeah. So what I would say is I, I focus on people's second website. 
they built the first website that was shit <laughs> and, and they know okay i need to pay someone to help me with this <laughs> but they don't have hundreds of thousands of dollars yeah uh, or even tens of thousands of dollars to get it done so what i help them make a real professional website that looks great gets into the next level uh, so yes <laughs> a long way of answering your question <laughs> I start with a with a template, uh, and then customize it. That's a beautiful. That's kind of cool. They all are. They are all gorgeous, you know. Um, and and there's new ones coming on uh, all the time. All right. Um, so these are really nice. You know, there's um, category photography and video. You know, very cool large uh, uh what do you call it large size imagery uh across the websites um you can and you can get a lot of different moods you know different feeling like this is really i would say outdoorsy um sports photography you know um this is a little more more playful more, more funky um you can find a template for anything Yeah. yeah it's really really cool so website flow compared to square space is this better well that depends i've had the reason i asked this is because i've had a, a contractor that was using square space and he's leaning towards web flow and i was just curious why it's square space is older well, I don't think that the age matters. Um, and it, they're just completely different platforms. Squarespace, you can build a website within five minutes. They, you know, uh, and, but that's the end of it. After five minutes, you can't do much more with it because just- Really restricted. Yes, exactly. You can't, you can't uh, make it look like you want it to. Use that template, and that's the template that you use. Yeah. End of the story. Um, you can put in your own pictures, put in your own text, but that's the end of it. With Webflow, there is no limitations. That's interesting. You can completely change the look and feel of the template if you are very confident, <laughs> right? But um, but even like you're going into different, like if you want a completely different look and feel within the same website. You can have a completely different yeah you can function. change the colors yeah. you can you can take part you can take sections away you can add you know you can take one section and, and switch it up and, and uh take elements away and add new elements to it and uh, so that's why it's better for artists like if you're yeah, doing a whole different and different stuff all the theories of works right yeah. you don't want the same look and feel exactly know. so webflow does allow that right because Okay, that's good to know. Every page can have a completely different new look on everything. Yeah. Um, so these are the templates. They're fairly, you know, straightforward to use. There, there I'm not going to say that there isn't a, um, a learning curve. There absolutely is. Uh, it's kind of like Photoshop for websites, but uh, you can get quite far. But what I wanted to do here with you today is build a little bit something more interesting. Um, I wanted to showcase the, the limitlessness <laughs> of a uh, of Webflow by creating something that's not a standard website, some uh, little thing. I, I uh, sometimes dabble in making, I don't know, I've, stuff like this, uh, I really like, uh, I'm from a landlocked country, it's like islands <laughs> just really float my boat. Yeah. Um, so I, I love playing with 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 gradients, um, like the sky and, and the ocean and how the colors look in the blue line. It looks better on my MacBook, by the way. Truer colors. Um, um, so I like playing with with islands and, and gradients and stuff like that. Um, and so that's what we're gonna build here today. A very simple little uh, island website. Cool. Um, so you should have received. Oh no, 
I didn't send it yet. You will now hopefully receive. Yes. And so what I'm gonna do is, I don't remember exactly how I built this last night, so. <laughs> <laughs> I did, yeah. <laughs> um, So what, what I want you to do is um, get uh, the little illustrations and go on Webflow and create a new account because Webflow is wonderful and they give you a free uh, a free website. Like you mean that will, as a server, they can host it for you? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, for free, oh. but not on a custom domain. It won't be a custom URL, but it will be through Webflow. Is that what you mean? Oh, interesting. So um, this right here is live. So if you go to this URL, you can see it. Oh, okay. Um, so it's going to be the name of your project. So if you are planning on using this, you know, you um, name it whatever you want, but it's always .webflow.io. Oh, okay. So they give that to you for free with limited functionality. Sure. Yeah. Check out their plans. Yeah. So. Do they offer hosting services as well? Yes. Yeah, yeah. They use something I call a CDN as well, which um, is really great if you have an international audience, because they what they do is take your website and put it on servers all around the world because there is a real, like if, if your website is only stored in Virginia and someone from Japan is trying to access it, even though it's the speed of light, there is still a significant latency. Uh, so it needs to go from here to New York, then from New York to, I don't know, someone probably UK or, or Portugal. And through all these cables and then it goes through like server switching and stuff like that so there is like if you go to a japanese website it takes longer to load because it's coming from japan the data i don't know if you can say physically oh no it's photons so physically has to travel from japan to your computer it's crazy i figured it's just there yeah <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wow. And so what a CDN does is a, is a content distributed network, content distribution network, uh, which means that an instance of your website is stored on a server in Japan. So if a Japanese person goes on, they get a really quick experience. Um, That's great. Like, you have your stuff up there. Mm -hmm. Well, it's really good for websites that are intense, right? Like when they have lots of graphics. And yeah, well, they shouldn't, and, or they should be optimized. <laughs> so yeah. Really, because it costs money. Like, if uh, a poorly optimized website, if you if if it's so big that it makes you go over your phone plan, it's real money. People yeah. are actually, um, uh, you know, it's costing money to go on your website. Oh, yeah, okay, I see. So that's why it's really important, not only for the user experience, but also for. Economics. Yeah, economics, you know, <laughs> don't steal people. Well, you're stealing money from people and not even taking it yourself. You're giving it to Bell, which is like the worst thing you can do. <laughs> At least take it for yourself. <laughs> not a, you know, a faceless. Don't mind the sales. You got to get your wheels. Corporations. They look like the Apple. They're, they're yeah. fun little wheels. Oh, yeah, those silly Apple wheels. Like $700 wheels. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so you have your illustration, your content downloaded. Yes. Amazing. So what I want you to do next is go and, and make a Webflow account. Which I have already. Did you? that before I got here. Amazing. Oh, okay. Step Fair. ahead. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to create a new site. So click this blue button right here. And... Um, we could choose a template, but we're better than that. And we're going to use a blank site. <laughs> I'm going to call it 
islands. It just popped up automatically. Rachel's fantastic site. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, someone took islands already, of course. So I have island 71C1AA. <laughs> um, and so this is this should be what you're seeing. Uh -huh. Are you both well, seeing this? Yes, you clicked on it. See uh, yeah, <laughs> right, right. So this is this is the Webflow interface. Uh, <coughs> on the left hand side, there's the main sort of functionality panel. Here, you know, go back to the dashboard, stuff like that. Here's where you add elements. So we have things like section containers, grid columns, div blocks. We're gonna talk about some of these, but you know, we're not here building websites, building a, a funky artsy website. Um, and there's infinite functionality with CMS, like content management systems, stuff like that, image videos, YouTube. Um, See all the forms functionality, really, really useful stuff, uh, which is amazing. They also have preset layouts for you. Uh, if you want to, you know, just use whatever this, uh, you just drop it in there. So you can actually, you know, uh, pull the website together yourself. So what you do is just like, uh, let's, let's do this one, just drag and drop, boom. And then islands are cool. I like the ocean. There you go. We have a website. I like how look, visual it look, is. Look, islands, publish. publish. And this is the website. So now if, if you go to, yeah. <laughs> I've, uh, I've done like um, boards of trade talks and i've built custom websites in front of people for like a random topic it's like an engage like okay so what's the website we're gonna build like yeah. some lady was starting a holistic pet care school something like that yeah. so we built uh this something completely random uh you know in the, within five minutes it was a real website that was collecting uh customer information if they wanted to sign up to be on a wait list, right five ten minutes um, so super quick, we don't need any of this because we don't, you know, uh, we don't need their help. We're building islands. Uh, Jesus. Is, that's okay. okay. Um, symbols, we're not going to get into that. Uh, here we're going to be talking about that a little bit once we actually start building, because this is, uh, sort of the, the depth of the, the program itself, um, or sorry, the, that's the structure of the website. Um, here you have all the different pages you have on your website. Um, and this is all the CMS. Um, we don't, we're not paying for this right now, so we won't be able to create a CMS collection. But you know, this is where you create a blog. So a blog uh, uses a content management system to create unique entries, and then you create a template. Uh, like, okay, the picture goes here, all the text goes here. So then you just fill it in in like a simple way and then it automatically generates a page. Um, it also has e-commerce functionality uh, where you can sell stuff and they help you with all that stuff, even with payments. Cool. That's right, That's yeah, nice. yeah. And this is where we're gonna be uploading all of our assets. So that's what we're gonna do next is we're gonna take uh, stuff from our archive and we're gonna pop it in here. And so they're now here to be used. But first thing, uh, well, not first thing, because we've already been over a few things. Uh, so this right here in the middle is the website itself. Right, so we're going to be dealing with that a little bit later, uh, but we're we're going to talk now about this this panel on the right. This is the most important panel where we add and change all the different things that will make the page look the way we want it to look. So this is all different padding and margins. Uh, we'll be playing with that as we go, sizing, uh, and some more uh, technical websitey stuff like uh, overflow, position values, 
Um, typography, so you can, of course, change all the different fonts that, that you have on the website uh, and all the, the standard sort of stuff. Backgrounds, borders, radius uh, of like, if you wanna cut the, the corners of your content and stuff like that. And all these different things uh, that we're not gonna get into, but you know, just know that there's a lot of functionality that you can do. What Webflow actually is, is HTML and CSS visualized. So one big difference between like the Wix and Squarespaces of the world is that you don't get, all you don't get any of that. And, um, and therefore you, you have zero flexibility. So whatever you can build in HTML CSS with you know, custom writing code is what you can build here infinite possibilities. Uh, so let's change our first thing. Uh, we're gonna make sure that we are changing the styles of body. Um, we're gonna give it a class. So we click up here. Actually, it does it automatically for us, but uh, it's typically good practice to, to give your HTML elements. So we're, we're, whatever we're tagging here, whatever is in this white block, um, I'm gonna be calling elements, uh, HTML elements, HTML the programming language. Um, this is just visualized. So we're gonna create body. And what we want to do is we wanna add a gradient as the background. So we scroll, all the way down the backgrounds, image and gradient, and choose the second thing here from the left, which is linear gradient. And then uh, we're going to, uh, I don't remember the, the, the actual numbers. So feel free, you know, if you wanna play around with what, what your uh, background would look like, uh, feel free to play around with that. But I have mine set up. So you just put in the hexadecimal number from its E63D45. Oh, and for the angle, you can actually take that little screen thing. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. This is Photoshop for websites. <laughs> yeah i hate wordpress so much uh and three three boom and so now we created our standard gradient so you can play around with with the angle um i sort of thought of this as the sun so i had this sort of like push to the side a little bit uh, uh we can push, push it away a little bit more, just kind of in the corner like that. So there's different things you can you know, play around with. But this is the standard gradient. And we click away and then we have an awesome gradient on our body. Is it working for you? Yes. Yeah, except that you had two colors in there. Uh, let's see. Right, so uh, this you're setting just the first one. So just, okay. Just uh, click away. And you want to click on this one now. Oh, okay. Change, change the color of that. Uh, so this orange, if you want the specific color, uh, is this one. Yeah, gradients are like, it's such a science. It's so hard to get right for it to look good. Like, oh yeah, like that's like really nice. <laughs> that's like one of the best. <laughs> Yeah, I just, and you can spend hours doing that. Oh, no. <laughs> I, uh, I play around with, with these things quite a bit, and I have like a little, uh, 
little workshop area. My computer. Um, what? Can load your documents, please do. <laughs> um, and so I, this is Adobe XD. This is for designing uh, user interfaces. Yeah. But I use it to <laughs> to make little, little these these like little island things and test out different okay. gradients. And so it's like a big like area where I mess around with stuff, take some colors. Uh, like this is this is my favorite one. It's the same gradient actually, uh, but all these different like oh, that's insane. Uh, that's so much fun <laughs> things. Uh, and this is this is this is uh, where I was creating stuff for for tonight. Uh, but I just just messing around here, trying all the different gradients, you know, with more realistic, you know, blues and uh, not so realistic stuff. <laughs> yeah, so it's a lot of fun. I don't know what I was doing here. Um, yeah. Adobe XD, really recommend it. And so now we've created our body. So that is cool and all, but uh, we're going to give it some structure. We're going to start creating some, some new elements. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on add elements and we're going to use our first diff block. So Div block is the most used and important element in HTML. This is the, the element that contains the internet. Uh, because all websites are just rectangles that have either other rectangles or stuff in them. And diffs are the rectangles that, that hold it all together. So what, what I've created here you know, it's a div block. What it is is just a divider, a box that, that we, we can use. What I'm going to call this is, I'm going to call it, I don't know, water. So I used that when I was building this first. Uh, and it's because we're going to, um, this is where all the water stuff uh, will be used. Um, So I've created a div right now, it's empty. If we look at this, this is actually the preview of the page. There's nothing there, right? So divs are actually invisible unless we tell them otherwise. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our assets and take this base and drop it in the water. Wow, beautiful. Almost there. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, um, some time went into building <laughs> the, the illustration itself to, uh, to do this. Uh, but uh, yeah, you know, we're quite a long way uh, into this already. Uh, and there's nothing we need to do with the image setting to pop up. No, you don't, you really don't. Uh, or do you? I don't think you do. Yeah, no, no, everything should be good like this. And so there is our image. That's the, the base. Next, uh, what we want to do is we want to create the second island that we've seen in uh, the, the preview. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into our assets. And we're going to grab shorter, long island. And again, make sure you're dropping it into the water diff, not into the body. Oh, oh yes. Into the water. Yes. Into the water. Um, so right now it's going to break it, you know, as it drops it somewhere completely random. So what we're going to need to do is two things. Uh, or you might have added it in front of the, the base, kind of like that. Yeah, that's how it was. Just, oh, yeah, okay, got it. That's what I did. Uh, you don't need to worry about that actually at all, oh. as long as it's in water. Yeah, that's it. where we want. So now we're gonna get into more little technical stuff. So we're gonna click on the water, and this is where 
navigating to this through the navigator. Uh, these little three dots, click on water. And we're gonna want to say position relative. Uh, this will allow us to set the absolute position of the long island. This is uh, more technical web development stuff. Uh, just trust me. <laughs> uh, because we're changing some stuff with this image, I'm going to call it Long Island. And what we're going to do is we're going to change the position of the Long Island to absolute. So now we see what, what absolute does is that it doesn't care about any other elements on the page. That it just puts it right on top of them. Uh, and so what this allows us to do is to move it however we want. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push it down using the top button right here of absolute position to bring it down somewhere here. Oh, <laughs> It gets a little harder when you are trying to make it work for all devices all the time. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, on your, I'm, and you can restrict it. You can say, you know, this is the canvas that it is. And if you go on it on a mobile phone, it tells you fuck off, go yeah. on and look at it on a, on a desktop. Oh. Uh, you can control all, all those things. Uh, we're not getting into that here today. Uh, so just, no. uh, yeah, because it's, yeah, if, if you look at this now on your phone, that's real broke. <laughs> can you edit it yes. in those different spaces so it looks like? Yeah, so you absolutely can. Uh, you can change this. Uh, so it's fixed for uh -huh. the phone, that. but oh, okay. it's the same. So yeah, it's it's, nice. uh, it's absolutely amazing. Yeah. You starting to see why I uh, I web flow? I see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, WordPress. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye -bye. <laughs> um, this is so dark. Yeah, I don't know why. Yeah. I think it's just, just a projector. That's... Oh, you know what I can do? I think it's, it's the colors on the projector itself. I don't think. Yeah. Yeah, that's actually better. Yeah. And, you know, if you want to, you can make the island bit more narrow so you know you can go into the width settings and and play around with how you want it and then what would you want to make sure you do is if you make it shorter make sure you go to uh to your positioning and press so it's zero because then that means that that's zero pixels away from the furthest right side yeah Yeah. <laughs> well, we're not done yet. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah. Next, we're going to add our little image. Nope, we go into assets, small island, and again, drop it into water. Go through the same process, say small island, Now this one is really big, so let's let's make it smaller. I'm gonna say you know 50 pixels. And again, change the position to absolute, and then you have free range to how where you want to place it. You just drag and drop wherever you want it. One of the projects that I have in my, my idea book is 
uh, a random island panorama generator where it would randomly generate a gradient for the sky and the, and the, the ocean, randomly place a bunch of islands and randomly place a bunch of houses uh, on the islands and just kind of flick through, see what the, the previous it's one so is. Yeah. And then each time it's different. Each time is completely different. Yeah. And everyone, because there's and like trillions of different combinations, uh, colors, placements, everyone gets a unique image every time. So you can go a million times and you always get, yeah. yeah. That's funny, I was able to bring it down, but I can't move it right. Uh, so you will, uh, you will have to just drag the left side of the app. Oops, sorry. I'm <laughs> playing on this one. Um, oh, so bring this. Yeah, bring that one. Oh, oh okay. So I'm just going on the right side. This, this, uh, it automatically puts it on uh, HTML. When you put an element, it always puts it on the top left. Yeah. Or the left itself. So when you are uh, saying the 311 there, uh, it's pushing 311 pixels away from there. Okay. That's why it wasn't working for you from the right. Because well, I was clicking on the right where it says auto. I was clicking on the right one. I have a hard yeah. time with the right one, but I just thought like you could make like smaller and just just because it's like closer to my. Sorry. That seems unique. <laughs> yeah. So you guys done with your exposition of these islands? Yes. yes. Cool. Okay. Uh, Next thing we're gonna do, so we, you know, these islands are done. Um, they're put up there. We're gonna, sh I'm gonna show you some interactions that we can do, some animations, you know, uh, because in the in the preview that I had for you, uh, when you scroll, yeah. they they sort of come together. So it's kind of like you're sort of diving behind this this bigger island. Uh, and I didn't know what to do. I wanted to put a little house there. I didn't know how to sort of transition, so I just put it on the bottom. <laughs> um, but yeah, so um, the next obvious step is we're gonna add our um, big, um, big land that is hiding all of this. Uh, so what we're gonna do is our familiar thing. Go this, press, get the inside land, and again, throw it in the water. I'm gonna call it outside hill. And again, position absolute. And for this one, we can actually simply just click this button right here to make sure that it's on the bottom of the page. Uh, so it automatically throws it in there. Now, this is overlapping. We don't like that. No. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna navigate back to water so we can click this uh, button to get the water right here. And we're gonna make it really tall because the water is the, the element that's containing all of our islands, right? So to, to give it more space, we're gonna make it longer. So we're gonna add some height. We're gonna add 150 VH. What 100% what uh, 150 VH means uh, it's one half full heights of the display that we're using right now. So 100 VH viewport height is uh, 100 units of the viewport that we're using. So, uh, you know, it's different on different devices, but if you want always full screen, you can use 100 viewport height. There's also 100 viewport width. So it covers the entire screen at all times. Um, so in this case, we're using it that it's one and a half uh, times 
the, the screen. So that's funky. And is it, um, does it depend on how big your images are to begin with? Do you know what I mean? Uh, what do you mean? Well, so it's taking, it's, it's marking the space where all your images are. No, it's, it's uh, irrelevant. It doesn't matter how big the images are. Oh, okay. okay. It's uh, 100 viewport height. Viewport is nine meters above sea level. <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh. Where did that come from? <laughs> Jesus. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, it's it's independent of it. It all it looks at. So when we told the water to be 100, uh, where am I? I'm here. Uh, oops. All it, it did when we told water to be 150 viewport height. It didn't look at any images, it didn't look at anything. All it did is look at, okay, what is our display? How big is it at the height? Okay, let's say it's a thousand pixels. So I'm gonna be 1,500. Okay. Um, okay. And so now we have this. Beautiful. Which is funky. Uh, moving on. What we want to do is we need to add our our house. So what I did was I'm going to add another div block and put it into water. Did I did I do that? I did. I did add it into water. Um, so we have a div block inside of our water. We're going to call it round. And we're going to make it 185 viewport heights. Now, it's, it's there, but we don't see it. So what we're also going to do is we're going to change the color the background color of the ground to be the gray. So 2E, 2E, 2E. And now we have a really long sort of website. So ground. Color twee twee twee. Your ground created. Um, yeah, it's to achieve the <laughs> what I was trying to do is Let the ground be below this. Uh, you just make it uh, one hundred and eighty-five before height. Okay. And now, now, if you scroll the website part, you will see that it's really long, but it doesn't have a color, so right. it's transparent, so we're seeing the body. So now we put it to, to I have to fix my. 
You know how like when you like swipe to go back and forth. Uh, I turned it off because it messed me up. Yeah. <laughs> oh, good. Um, I'm oh, changing the typography. So it will be developed. Below the table. There yeah. we go. The ground is static. Good point. We're actually, when, when you're looking at that, uh, do change it to be relative. So we're going to need to do that. Okay, so when you made it longer, yeah, there's my height, 185. Yeah. And then what did you hit? Position relative. Yes. And then I changed the background color to tui tui tui. That's that's where we're at right now. Cool. Put your ground. So the next step is we're gonna uh, add our house. So we're actually going to add another div block into the ground and uh, gonna call it house wrapper. Uh, because there's going to go other other things will go there the smoke as well as the house will go in there uh and for now i'm going to drop the house inside of the house mm -hmm. boom <laughs> <laughs> make it smaller if you want you know maybe like 150 pixels Now, first, make sure your ground is position relative. So then we can click on house wrapper and change this position to be absolute. And this time again, put it all the way at the bottom. Um, bottom left, bottom right, whatever you want it. Move it a little bit inwards. Yeah, I have some things going on over here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so I realized that I can go over here and there's this space on the side. Yeah. Why is it not going to happen? Uh, there it is up there, and I come down there, down to the ground. Down to the ground. <laughs> is that a, what is that? Is that a, a oh, it's a claw. It's a claw. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, 67. So we don't want that there. Uh, 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 ah, okay, Long Island. You pushed it inwards. So that's where that's happening. Okay. If you want it shorter, you can change it to be like 70%. Uh, and so, then uh, put zero. So that's one thing, that ground. Uh, uh, there is house wrapper. So oh, it needs to be the, the image needs to be a house wrapper. And then house wrapper, you put the bottom. Okay, so this space here is just what we see on this image. Yeah, so the ground, oh, it's 185 pixels, not the report height. Oh. Okay, now it's BH, the BH has to be. BH, Thank yeah. you. <laughs> 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 little house is. You like it? Good. <laughs> So we have our little house wrapper here. And then what we're gonna have to do is put all the different smoke into the house wrapper. So for now, don't worry about where it's going. Just make sure that it's all going through the house wrapper. Smoke. 
So it should look something like this. So this is right in there of those images inside of the house wrapper. Got it, cool. So, and now we're gonna rename these to be smoke one. Second one will be smoke two. And the third one, smoke three. Um, you can resize them to be like, I don't know, 50 pixels wide maybe. They don't have to be the same, they don't have to be uniform. What they will need to be though, is position absolute though. And for that to make that happen, what did we have, what was the first step before we made something position absolute? Do you guys remember? The test. A test. Before we made it absolute. Yeah, the test. I mean, before we made the islands absolute, what did we have to do to some other element? What did we have to do to the ground to get the house? We had to get the right? Uh, no. What we had to do is make, make uh, the parent element the parent, uh, the thing that's the ground, the element. That's right. Yeah. So in order to get the house, the house wrapper to, to become absolute, to go on the very bottom of the ground, we had to make the ground relative. Yes. Uh, so ground is the parent element of the house wrapper. And the house wrapper is the um, parent element of smoke. Actually, I just realized that this was very silly for me to ask because we've already added position to house wrapper, absolute. It doesn't have to be relative. It can be relative or absolute, but it cannot be static. So we actually don't need to do anything. Sorry, oops. Forget about everything I just said. <laughs> um, and then we go into smoke one, click again, absolute. And we don't change the position just yet because we're gonna go into smoke two and press absolute again. And then we're also going to go into smoke three and make that also absolute. The reason why I wasn't changing, uh, why I wasn't changing its positions, was because the the house diff actually, you know, went a bit more narrow. But now I can use the draggy thing here to put the smoke right above the chimney. So just go smoke three, smoke two, and place it wherever you want to place. And just is the house absolute as well? Yeah. Well, the house, the image of the house? Yeah. No, that doesn't okay. have to be. So it's just static. Yeah, that is all good. Smoke yeah, it really is. Now this is, you know, I I don't know if I'm gonna call this the proper way of <laughs> building websites. It's, it's not. There's a lot more structure that goes when you're building a portfolio website. Sure. But for a piece like this, I wanted to just showcase the, the fun. Yeah, the, the, the infinite the possibilities. Yeah. yeah.
uh, I've mentioned this to you, Rachel, when we were talking about this, but this is uh, oh, there it is. Kind of watch, yeah. what we're, uh, sort of what we're building, put in practice. They definitely had more than two hours to, to build this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was a good game. Yeah, you mentioned that last time. I've, I've watched the trailer earlier. I haven't uh, played it. This is working really slow. But where do you see this? how the ground comes over? This is really, really slow. I don't know why it's doing that. But uh, so these are all different layers, just like our islands are different layers. Uh, you know, and but that there is the ground that comes over it to cover it to reveal all the information about the game itself. But this is uh, probably one of my favorite websites that I've ever seen. It's very pretty. Yeah, yeah. it must have taken so much work because, like, not to build it. Because I mean, you know, we're here an hour, and I've introduced Webflow to you, and we've built that, yeah. and now we're gonna animate it, which takes a little bit of time, but. Yeah, the, anim the the illustration really. I like, like the sketchy trees. Yeah, yeah. There's... So each of these is a layer. Yeah, so each of the the different colors. So this is a layer, mm. and this is a layer, this is a layer, and this uh, river is a layer, layer, layer. You can see like every time it's a different color, it's a new layer. So if I'm drawing something in Photoshop to make layers, I want to save it as like transparent background pink, SVG. Yes. Yeah, PNG or SVG or whatever. Yeah. Uh, but it has to be, you know, independent. So it's just yes, that. Nothing one else. Time. But you want to make sure it's the same width. That it's always oh, okay. a thousand pixels wide, and it's just this this hill on the right side of it, right? Um, yeah. If if you want to do it, but I, I will show you, you know, how all this works and how <laughs> how annoying it can be. <laughs> um. But anyways, we have our, a little house with uh, a little smoke. <laughs> Static. Well, uh, I shouldn't use that word, but it's not moving. <laughs> <laughs> Static is something else now. Uh, yeah, and so we have, we have a little house there. And so this is the site. So when we look at it, we can scroll, you know, they're not moving. But it's still pretty. It's still pretty. It's still there. Uh, so let's let's get started on on the the harder part of session. So far, is there any questions? So what color? So your outside hill and your ground are the same color. Yeah. So is uh, the ground is e three? No, two e two e two e two e two e two e. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Okay. So I would say let's start animating the smoke. Cause I don't know. I I just thought of that yesterday and it came out like nicer than I thought it would. <laughs> which is pretty neat. Um so when when we want to animate something, we're gonna use interactions, which are up here on the right. So what we're going to do is click on the house wrapper. Actually, it doesn't really matter. Just click on, uh, yeah, just click on house wrapper and click interactions. Here, we're going to use the element trigger. Press the plus uh, and choose scroll into view. Here, we're gonna, when scrolled into view, select an action. We're gonna choose custom animation, start an animation. Now, this is- This is the hard part. This is the hard part. <laughs> We're gonna start animating the, uh, smoke. the smoke. So if we want it to loop, so I'm just gonna click loop and press plus. So now this is where uh, the actions happen. So what we want to do is we want to select one of the smokes. Let's start with smoke three. So you click on it there. This will still be up there. And you click plus. 
first thing we want to do is move it. This is the workflow of creating interaction. You first uh, create one thing here and say, okay, don't at the, so what it means is that 0, 0, 0, 0050 0 is at, at the beginning of the animation. Where is it? Well, we want it to be where it's at. So we're not going to move it anywhere on the beginning of the animation. So we put Y zero. But at the end of the animation, we're going to click again on move. Now we want it to go somewhere. I was thinking smoke goes up. Uh, Oh, it's going up. We're going to move it up. So we go minus, you know, maybe 50 pixels, something like that. And yeah. Save then we save it. So, and then toggle preview. It's moving. And you see the, the smoke <laughs> moving. It's really fast. It's really fast. It's really fast. Yeah. <laughs> So now we can, we know what we did. Uh, cool. And so we can say, okay, uh, if we click on the, the first one or second one, doesn't matter. Uh, we wanna say duration, it's going too fast. So let's go one second. Oh, look at that. How do I get back to, yeah, I know it's gonna uh, So what do you do is, uh, click on swap three. No, click on house wrapper. Uh, oops and element trigger there. And then that's where you access the animation. And make it one second. Okay, so, okay, so, okay, wait, now let's go with this. So smoke three on the first one. Yeah. Duration is gonna be- One five, second. One second. Yeah. And so now when we save it, and view it again, it's gonna be much slower. Mine goes up and doesn't come back down. <laughs> so you didn't click loop here. Oh, okay. House wrapper. Loop, I have loop on, and now I'm going into new time, so it's gone. Okay. Then if you save it and done and and preview your website, it should be jumping around. Sorry about Is it still not working? Yeah. Okay, so here I am in house wrap, which is really long. Yeah. And then I'm gonna go see loop is there. Yeah. New time animation. Ah, you didn't set the initial value of zero. Oh, it doesn't do it on its own. No. Oh, okay. So now. Okay. Boom, there okay. you go. Thank you. So you're just animating. Well, down. It was when I looked at the preview, and then when I went back, it stopped. Uh, if you see on the house wrapper again. Click into that. Click no, no, no. no. Sorry. Click into scroll into view, and you don't have that. You click it out. So click that. Yeah. Okay. And now, if you do it, it's just gonna work. All right. So what happened there is you told it not to play the animation. Okay, I must have clicked on the animation. So if I wanted to make it longer. Uh, no, you no. click on the settings. So you hover over new time animation. And there you uh, go. You click on the first one, small three. And the zero, zero. Time up, this one, yeah. And there's the direction there. Ah, hold on. Got it. So, the next thing we can do is 
when we click on smoke three, we can add uh, scaling, rotating, opacity. So let's do scaling. Let's let's make it grow. So at uh, at zero, we scale it to one, so we keep it the same size. And then at one, we click plus scale. 1.2 and save. So now if we view it, oh, it's bigger and smaller. And what we can also do is we can change the opacity. So if we, when it goes up, Oops, no, I don't want to do that. If it goes up, um, it decreases in opacity. So again, initial value set to 100. And at one second, change it to, I don't know, 50%. Shape. It's so great. I mean, so much flexibility. You bet. Look at that now. Third one is just disappearing and appearing, growing, getting smaller. <laughs> uh, cool. All right. Now we just have to do all that for the other two smokes. Yeah. Okay, so what's that? Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay, here we are. Um, cool. So just going to smoke two, move zero, one, move minus twenty five. So again, same process at zero, give it zero one give it some other value where you want to move it to and we don't need to click away then we can just click again on plus scale it again as well scale scale one add opacity as well Sorry? I'm um, gonna try to slow down smoke two. Yeah, if you don't save it, it doesn't show the preview.
you can change the the durations of each of the smokes can be different. Now it's smoking. I can see how a lot of this is playing around too. Oh, absolutely. All these different animation options. And yeah. Oh, yeah. It really has infinite potential. So this is our first animation. Second animation we can look into uh, is animating the islands themselves. So this one took me a while to figure out. This is so weird thinking about like you're scrolling, you're decreasing, but then this is to be increasing. Anyways, uh, so what is going on is what we're gonna do is create a page trigger. Oh, uh, no, it doesn't matter, actually. Um, I just clicked out on it. I don't know why. <laughs> um, because we're adding a page trigger. That's for the entire page is a trigger. Whatever the page is doing, that's what we're, what's happening. While page is scrolling, while on scroll, we play a scroll animation. So page trigger, what do you think? Oh, sorry. Uh, let me just delete that. We're in the interactions. Yeah. Page trigger plus while page is scrolling. Yeah, okay. And then on scroll, select action, play scroll animation, and scroll animation plus, and then island moving. That's, that's the animation. Good? Yeah. Awesome. All right. So uh, let's begin adding the, uh, the pictures. So this one is actually, you know what? Let's go and change this big image. So just click on the big island and call it uh, big island because that's moving um, the island and the water because remember that was the one big illustration so just so it's easier to read when we're creating the interaction the interaction should still be there islands moving and cool okay so what we're going to do for now is just create the initial movement um, numbers. Save. Uh, uh, movement. And we're going to move it. Let's try 400 pixels, 400 pixels. I was going to fuck it all up, but um, <laughs> yeah. so what I just did, page trigger, islands moving, and just have big island and big island 400. Done. So now when we look at this, it's all kind of fucked up. What happened? But this is working. <laughs> um, what happened? Let's see, it goes away. It pushes down. Ah, I know what's going on. Okay. What we're going to do is 
Okay, so what we're gonna do is we have to give our images Z index values. So Z index values uh, pretty much dictates uh, how things stack. So let's say my MacBook is uh, Z index one. My iPhone is Z index two. It's in front of it. If it's Z index zero, it's behind it. So the islands go behind it. So we need to stack them the way they're supposed to be stacked. So our outside hill should be on the very top. So let's say that's number 10. Our small island is on the bottom. So, or, or not on the bottom, but below the, the big one. So let's call it nine. Long Island, also let's call it nine. And the big island, let's change the position to relative and call it eight. So now, yes, now it works. And so now if you scroll, the big island is moving slower than the rest of the page. Do you see that? So this is moving slower when I'm scrolling. Oh yeah. Because so this one so I'll front it. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. And that's the basis of wow, this, is this other animation oh, yes <laughs> okay so what oh, well, okay so we're having this thing yeah. which means that i need to take big island i need to take big island and what am i changing this no 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 what am i changing this you changed it already right? yeah but like when i hit preview and then it doesn't fit the whole page uh so I think there's something else going on here. What does this look like? Look, it's fine. This is kind of what did I do? <laughs> You make it go over to the yeah. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Um, oh, I know. Let's go somewhere. Let's go somewhere. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know either. It's okay, guys. Water. Oh, I don't know if that, that's it. But yeah. <laughs> so this is too short. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's okay. Oh. So you have a much wider. Uh, Canvas, yeah, and I do. Oh, so they made it originally. Yeah, yeah. So you just need to See. find this is what yeah, minus yeah. is at twelve hundred or so, which is still weird that it's not working. But so even if I drew an image, yeah, and it was shorter than the screen, 
there's no way to drag it so it fits. The easiest thing to do is to make it within that size. Yeah, okay. kind of thing. So there are ways of making this more dynamic. Um, but for ease of yeah. of uh, doing this, I will ultimately restrict it a little bit. Uh, so we don't need to you know, build you know, divs that are, like initially I had the sky as a div and the water as a div and the ground as a div. Uh, and they had all their special properties to make work, but I was thinking, that's okay, it's a little too, too in-depth, complicated, you know, um, to, just to make it a little more constrained, <laughs> uh, just to, to get it done. Um, okay, so they have to be the right size. Yeah, yeah. And like, there's a really simple way of doing it, uh, where you can, for example, take, everything so if you wanted to do like a if you wanted to do something about it so you throw a div block in there throw the water into the div block and then tell this max width oh shit oops i'm working on this version my my reference one <laughs> um if you want to restrict it, it's pretty simple. Take the div block, put it not in the water, and throw the water into the div block, and then tell the div block to be okay. Your maximum width is one thousand pixels. Oh, okay. And so then, even if you know so everything is in there, everything is in there. Okay. Um, and like you know, there is ways to fix this, of course. Uh, but just the easy way. Yeah. Yes, because right now that's the size. Your your image is shorter, shorter than yes. Okay. Okay. Cool. Uh, cool. Okay. Uh, moving on. While page is scrolling, islands moving. Big island. Uh. uh, uh. Uh, cool. So Long Island, you're gonna click again and move. And you know this is this is kind of we've already been over this. It doesn't get any more, I guess, complicated than that. You just move it and move it by, you know, instead of uh, 400, move it by 350 to give it that sort of like different speed of scrolling. Uh, and you would do the same for Small Island move zero, move, you know, 300. What's your long line with that? 350. And so now. Right. Look at that. It's going to be great. Yeah. You know, so your outside hill, you don't have to do anything to it. Um, yeah, you don't. You can, if you want to, of course, to, to give it a bit of a different feeling than when it you're scrolling. You need to because the others are moving. Yeah. Cool. That's right. Um, and you can, you know, of course, make it more aggressive to, to make that, um, to make it seem like it's more is happening. Uh, let's just take it more aggressive. It might break the, the rest of the things. Uh, I went to 400 before it was because so I'm going to go 450, 450, 450 and 400. Uh, so then when we preview it, oh, yeah. yeah, and so it breaks a little bit on the bottom. There's ways of fixing this again, um, but you know this way it's a little more aggressive. I mean, we can uh, here is when we can add movement to the to the big hill to the outside hill or we can also move it um so it actually follows with it let's say we also move it by 400 how's that gonna look i don't know let's test <laughs> it out It's like curves a little bit. 
Yeah, well, it actually is sticking with the, the Long Island. So we don't. Uh, so it's not at not a, the we need this to be going up. Uh, so if we wanted to go quicker, we would tell it like minus 100. It's not going to fix our problem of the, the blue gap, but it's going to make this effect uh, quicker. Yeah, so the very simple way of fixing this is have our outside hill be just much taller. Where that yeah. hill goes, say you have a layer of text that says, I don't know, uh, and it, as you scroll, it disappears behind outside hill. Yeah. So again, this to do with the Z indexes again. Yes. Right. So what we can do, I can, I can build that right now. Put it into water, say, um, okay, so we can't see that because it's behind, it already is behind. <laughs> uh, so what we're gonna do is position relative so we can change that, go to 11, change it to be white so we can read it. Heading. Island. Uh, put some better. What's the island font? Ubuntu. <laughs> okay, I see. Tahoma seems kind of. I'm vibing with. Great vibes. What was this one? Changa. Okay, there you go. Islands. That's it, right there. Weight, normal uh, size, I don't know, 60. Yeah. Uh, then there's other things you can do with a the letter spacing, 10. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, capitalize all or not capitalize, don't matter. Um, cool, okay. So we take this and again, now this is in website development. It is bad practice to use so much absolutes, but oh well, you know we're <laughs> we're just just messing around here for, generally. for a text or just in general. In general, yeah. in general, yeah, absolute is, is very infrequently used. Does okay. it slow down the page? No, just it makes it harder for responsiveness because yeah. you're absolutely sticking it to one specific spot, and so now this is ten, and so let me make this nine. Because it doesn't act the same in different platforms. Is that what you're saying? You're uh, saying? On different pages, yeah. on sizes of screens. Yeah. Uh, so heading absolute, it's in water. Yeah, that's a really cool text. Uh, oh, it's not scrolling. Because oh. we're, this is, this is uh, it's an animated text. So moving it away. To say zero. Um, well, actually, let's let's keep it. If it's next to this, so let's move it with the small island. So we're gonna say move on zero. Move uh, small island was four hundred. Yeah, it was. Safe. Cute. Cute. Okay. So it's the same. Right? Yeah. So there was that index is and enhance the speed at which it moves. Yeah. And if you want it, like better way of doing this would be we have a diff that contains a small island and the text heading and the text islands. And then you animate the div block that sort of wraps those two things together. I see. Um, so they stay together. They stay together, yeah. right? We don't need to have two separate animations. Yeah. And so, yeah, so these are the basics of messing around in Webflow. Uh, it's a huge, there's so, so many possibilities. You do all this 
And then when the time comes, I guess they're published. Yeah, you click this button right up there. And islands are cool. So I made a website about islands. Yeah. This <laughs> it's broken. I don't want to fix it right now. <laughs> no. uh, it would it would uh it, easy way of fixing it is just making the outside hill a longer picture. Yeah. Um so higher so it doesn't run out of space. Uh there's other ways of storing it, but yeah, and then you can mess around with so many other things. Uh you can actually change the smoothing, just like makes it super bouncy. Oh, no. oh. oh, I see. It's just doing it on its own. Yeah, it's, it's good, like, momentum. Oh, oh my gosh. I'm going to make my other side now. Look at that on my right <laughs> side. It's like, it's almost like each, so there's like your, each corner, you know, like you, see, you scroll down, the name disappears or whatever, and then it goes into the island that's like, your then maybe it gets hidden by trees. Keeps going down, and then you're in the neighborhood. There you go. So many houses. You gotta put content in it, though. That's true, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. For the most part, getting started. Yeah. You're gonna get yeah. more excited. There are different, like, so what we've covered here was just messing around here, making these animations. There is, like, good practices. Uh, so I would, what I would recommend, if you are building a proper page, I would learn about, okay, what does a proper page, how is a proper page structured? I'm definitely going to use a template, but even yeah. if I use a template, I can still add this stuff. This. Yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. yeah. absolutely fair. Yeah, so this is the, this is the fun, fun with Webflow. Okay, I um uh, I saw this website the other day on the North Head Trail. Ah, oh, yeah. Matthew? yeah. Yeah. Like how the heck like is that an Im one image? Like how did you do that? No, so this is something called a Lottie um animation. And I've never done it, so I actually don't exactly know how to approach okay. it. Okay. You know, I went to red line moves. Yeah. 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 I just I looked at the other day like how the hell uh, he's crazy with the websites too. Oh, he needs a website. He designed it. Yeah. So this is the the Lotti animation. This is what you would need to do. Where are you? Uh, you would use this. I've I've noticed it. I've seen it before. Um, are you want a different window for the zoom? Oh God, damn, <laughs> Jesus. Um, a Lotti. A Lotti animation. Yeah. So it's it's ultimately you s oh. give it certain parts and it animates between different different uh things. But you know? would you have used we would you have used webflow you think for that? Who knows? Um what's the website? It's called Matthew Talbot. Or between seasons on the north end. It's called between seasons drop the It takes a while to open. Yeah. Okay. On. So. Mm -hmm. Let's see what else is this site using? That's amazing. So you PHP. Oh, you might have built this from scratch. Interesting. WordPress. No, this is different. This is GGG Contadors. Um, does it work for Webflow? Yeah. Uh, so, but he didn't use um, he didn't use WordPress. That was interesting. Um. But so this is how you do it. Well, the animation. Oh, yeah. Like, what if I put a star up 
from the top and that's doing that. Yeah. So if you want to, you know, learn how to do it, then I would look up Webflow Loki animation okay. how to. Okay. Uh, that will enable you to do that. Because I looked at the um, because the his uh, the view behind the scenes, and I'm like, I have no idea. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> cool. Fun. Thank you so much. Thank that you. was really good. Now we got to go get creative. Oh, I know, right? That's this is my profit. Yeah. Amazing. It really is. I'm gonna stop sharing. Oh, and I'm gonna leave.